Welcome back to a new episode of TBH. I'm your host, Jay, specialist from thebeerheads.com. Let's get into today's episode. Today's episode, we're going to be doing a food and beer pairing. Today's beer is going to be from Deschutes for a Brewing Company out of Bend, Oregon. This is their Imperial Porter coming in at 11.3% ABV, celebrating their 25th anniversary as a brewing company, Black Butte 25. An Imperial Porter that is brewed with dates and fig and cocoa nib, 50% being aged in bourbon barrels and 12.5% being aged with currants. Let's get this into a glass and do the food pairing and I'll let you know what I think of this one. Wow, this is fantastic. You definitely pick up a lot of dark chocolate, cocoa nibs, some caramel, sweet vanilla notes, that breadiness in here, um, some toasty, biscuity-like qualities. Definitely picking up some sweet vanilla, a little bit of that um, sweet date in there, that fig as well. Um, it's a bittersweet-like aroma in here. Um, you definitely get a nice, just subtle bourbon-y, um, oaky quality as well in this one. Cheers. Yeah, up front. You definitely get a nice dark bitter chocolate, cocoa nib like qualities, that baker's chocolate. Um, you definitely pick up some oaky tanning like quality in this one, some subtle bourbon notes as well. Picking up vanilla, some caramel, roasted coffee, almost like frappuccino like nose uh, taste in this one. You're definitely picking up a little bit of a bittersweet finish on this, as well as a little subtle dryness. Not too much booziness, but you definitely can pick up a little detection of booze in here as well. All right, let's get into the food pairing with the Black Butte 25. Today I'll be pairing the Black Butte 25 with the smoked apple sausage, sautéed mushrooms that have been sautéed with a guave syrup, and Parmesan cheese. The apple smoked sausage is fantastic. You definitely get that nice a sweetness of apple smoked goodness in here. Especially since it has the sautéed mushrooms, the guave. You get a little bit of a guave nectar sweetness to this as well. Um, the burntness of the, uh, the crust of the sausage gives it off a little bit of a sweet crunch. It's fantastic. Let's see how the sausage pairs with the Black Butte 25. The sausage pairs really nice with this. What the burntness of the sausage and the sweetness of the sausage does, it helps balance out the subtle roasted bitterness quality inside the beer, and it also gives it a little bit more of a smokiness to the beer as well. I'll be doing the last of this pairing with the sausage, mushrooms, and cheese together. Fantastic. The milky light -like qualities of the cheese, the sweetness of the guava and the mushroom, and that smokiness, sweet apple wood uh, quality of the sausage actually gives a nice more creamier feel to the body as well in the beer. Smokiness comes out, that sweeter vanilla pops out, the bittersweet date starts to blend away, and you start to pick up a little bit more oakiness now with this as well. This was definitely a nice food pairing. Well, you guys, that was a fantastic food pairing, and Black Butte 25 was a fantastic beer. A little bit more better than last year's, I think, uh, with the oakiness popping out a little bit more. Not as uh, much sweetness, residual sweetness that was from last year. You definitely got a little bit more bitter, sweet, just sweeter, sugary quality of the beer last year. This one's fantastic, you guys. Definitely say pick up the Black Butte Porter 25 from the shoots. Till the next time, like I always say, live, learn, and drink. I'm going to enjoy my beer. You guys should do the same.